Hello Rust developers and welcome to the Rust questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking a question I found in Rust answers, which is this one here, uh, which says my note doesn't publish to the topic common bell which is a quite common issue, so we are going to be checking this question and trying to answer it. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now, yes, let's start with the video. So as I've said, we are going to be reviewing this question where the user says, I created a node in order to move the robot and rotate it, but it seems that the node doesn't publish to twist. Can anyone help? And he puts here his code with a class, which is called movement, with uh, many functions like move forward, move backward, stop, rotate, etc. Uh, so yeah, what we are going to do is to reproduce this, uh, this code, execute it. So for that, as always, let's go to uh, Rust DS and let's create a new Rust object. So uh, move QA. There we are. Now let's start our Rust object. Let's open it and let's wait a few seconds until everything properly loads. Okay, so here we are. Then let's uh, open a shell, as always. Let's open as well an IDE to visualize our codes. And uh, let's create a new package. Let's call move test. I'm going to add Rospy as a dependency because he's using Python. So yeah, here we should have now our code in the catkin raw space, there we are. And now let's create here a new file, which I'm going to call move.py. And I'm going to copy the code of the user, basically copy paste. So let's copy this code here. And sorry, let me close this. Okay, then let's copy the code here. Excellent, so let's uh, let's just execute it directly to see if it works or it doesn't work. So for that, let me uh, let me open a simulation. Let's launch the Chatterbot 2 simulation to test this. And basically, I won't need to change anything, only the topic where it is publishing, since the, the Chatterbot simulation, the name of the topic, it's Common Bell, not uh, this Marvin this right controller, it's only common bell. So let's remove this and leave only uh, common bell. There we are. Let's save the code. And now here we should have our simulation loaded. There we are. And let's, yeah, let's remove the wall since we don't need it for anything. Okay, excellent. So yeah, let's first of all make sure that our file has execution permissions. There we are. And now yes, let move test, move by. So let's directly execute the code. Okay, there's an indentation error here in the code. Uh, it's here. Okay, so. Let's fix this and launch again the code. And yeah, as the user says, nothing happens. The robot is not moving. Okay, excellent. So this is uh, this is basic. This is basically because of how the code is built. If you if we check here the main loop, let's say this while loop in this case. 
Um, here, what he's doing is he's uh, initiating his class, then he's calling to the move forward function, which is this one, which will uh, print high, will set up some values in the twist message in order to move forward, and then it will publish one time the message. Yes? And then he prints the twist and he has a spin here which basically stays here forever. So why it's uh, not moving the robot? Well, it's basically because when you create a publisher and you try to publish here, it takes some seconds to create the publisher, to create all the connections needed. And then this code, it's not leaving the time uh, enough to create all of this. So this one message that is being published here, it's being lost. Yes? Then how we can solve this? Well, for instance, we can simply add here a while loop. Ross by is shut down. While not. It would be in this case. Let's add here a rate as well. Self rate equals Rosby rate. Okay, and then here we are going to slip on this rate. Let's see if uh, we can also print the uh, twist message as well. Okay, so basically uh, we are creating here a loop that, I'll, that uh, while I don't stop this program, it will keep publishing this message into the command bell topic. So now it won't be only one message, so it will be many messages. So uh, it will have time enough in order to create all the connections. So let's try this code, and now it, this will work. And there you have the robot moving. So let's stop it by the way. Okay. Let's stop it and let's reset the world. So that we have our robot back at its initial position. Okay, so as you can see, this has solved the problem, but this is not the proper way of doing this, let's say. Yes? So a more convenient way would be to, in these functions, only modify the value of the twist message. Yes? But not actually publish the message here. Yes? What we could do, for instance, is to create an additional function publish velocity and then here we can actually publish the message. So now we can take out all of this. So in the function, basically we will, yeah, we need to move as well uh, the creation of the message. Because if not, each time we are calling one of these functions, we are creating again a twist message. So we are going to create a message on the class initialization, and that's it. Yeah. So let's add here the message creation. And then within the functions, what we are going to do is to only just update the values of this message. Yes? Self and self. So basically, inside the move forward function, the only thing we are doing is to update the, the value of this message. Then let's do the same here. Let's remove this. Uh, let's remove this and finally as well here okay we have also the rotate but let's 
Let's uh, just use for now these three functions in order to not spend many time because here we would have to modify some things. So yeah, so now basically we have the our class with the initialization where we are initializing the node, the publisher, and the uh, twist message, and then we have our move forward, move backward, and the stop function where we are updating the, the values of this message. And finally, we have a publish bell function where we are publishing, we are actually publishing this message into the topic. Okay? Great, so now let's come again here. And actually, what I would do here is to create a main function, which is, uh, let's put it here. If main equals main, then let's, because here uh, you are, each time you, you, you have a loop, which you are only executing one, and if we take out this spin, you would uh, constantly be creating the class here, yeah? So this is more convenient to have it outside the while loop. So let's put it here, for instance. And then, we are going to create the loop here and move forward. And then we will also need to call the uh, publish well function. Yes, so basically whenever the our code starts, it will first create an instance, an object of our movement class, and then it will enter this loop where it will update the values in order to move forward, and then it will publish these values. Yeah? Then let's, uh, actually, let's do one more thing. Let's, let's move the rate here, because in the class we are not using it. There we are. So let's move, yeah, here. Our rate, and then let's add here and asleep. There we are. So yeah, let's try if this updated code works. And let's execute it. Ross one move test move.py. There we are. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, here I have put if main equals main and it's if name equals main, okay? So let's run again our code. Okay, now it's complaining about... Ah, yeah. Here, it's not move, it's mov, because we are calling uh, from our move variable, which has, which is the object of the class, we are calling the move forward function, as you can see, and also from the move variable, we are we have to call the publish val function. Yeah. Okay. So small errors here. Let's run it again. Okay. So we have still another error within the code. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, fine. Here, the, the message is in self dot move. So I think this is the last one. Everything else looks okay to me. So now it should properly work. Let's see. Okay, yeah, there we have it. So now uh, everything is working. Let's again stop our robot and reset the world. There we are. Okay, so basically uh, now we have a much more proper structure. As you can see, we have our class. 
we have our init function, we have our publish vel, vel function where we publish the messages to the topic and then we have the different functions where we update uh, the value of the messages that we want to publish into that topic. Yes, then within our main code we can update the values and publish them. Yes? So now, for instance, let's add one last example, which will be to, to call other functions within this while loop. So for instance, what, what, what you could do would be to ask to the user for an input, and then, depending on that input, move your robot in one way or another. So let's try that. So for instance, what we are going to use is to is the raw input function from Python. So I'm going to create here a new variable which is going to be, well, let's say direction equals raw input. And now here I will put uh, enter desired movement. Great. So now in this uh, direction, sorry. I don't like direction. I'm going to call it movement. So now in this movement variable, I will have whatever input the, the user uh, enters. So now, for instance, I can check if movement equals forward, then I'm going to update the values of the move variable to move the forward, the robot forward. Yes, then we can do the same. Let's do it for backward. And let's do it as well for uh, the stop function, which are the three we have modified. Then it is move forward, move backward, and stop. Okay. So here we will add a move backward. And here we will call to the stop function. Yeah. So, depending on, on what input the user enters, we will do one thing or another. If the user uh, enters a forward, then the robot will move forward. If the user enters a backward, then the robot will move backward. And if the robot enters a stop, the robot will stop. Yes? Then here, in these ifs, we are updating the values of the messages. And at the end, we are going to publish the message, either if it is a forward, a backward, or a stop message. Yeah. Then let's finally try this code and see uh, if it works properly. So let's run our code. And as you can see, I have here entered the side of movement. Okay, so let's say forward. And now the robot starts moving forward, but I can yet uh, enter another another command, so I'm going to enter the backward command, for instance. And now, as you can see, the robot starts moving backward. And now finally, let's stop our robot. And the robot stops. Yeah? So this is a basic, uh, a very basic way to, to call a uh, within your while loop to call to the different functions in order to change the movement. And yeah, that's all. I hope this has helped you to understand a little bit how to work with classes in Bros. And, and hope that this has clarified a little bit your doubts within doing this, uh, this example here. And yeah, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. And either you liked the video or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area below. So yeah, goodbye and see you in the next video.